And am I special? I don't know. Let's find out. What are we doing? Rachel was dumped by her boyfriend, who rather chose to focus on his studies, but can visibly see that he is only making excuses so he can just break up with her. She initially felt upset about the breakup, but realized he was just playing with her feelings. Her father didn't like her boyfriend, and so upon knowing Rachel has no boyfriend anymore, he's happy to know about it. But her father makes sure Rachel would be more responsible this time around. But his daughter is stubborn and wants to do things on her own since she's already 18. Rachel's father giving reminders as he will be gone for a few weeks for a business trip and that he has a new employee and will stay at their guest house until everything is settled. I have a new employee starting at the company next week. She's going to be staying at the guest house. So please try and be helpful. Rachel heard a knock and welcomed Amy, her father's new employee. Amy wasn't aware that her boss has a daughter. Rachel was kind enough to show to Amy their guest house and when she started to play the piano, Amy instantly felt attracted to her. Rachel has been trying to work on her music career but still haven't found the right platform. That was really great. Just something I'm working on. Can you play me more? Amy starts to ask personal questions, then Rachel talks about how she misses her mother who is no longer with them, and how her mom influenced her. Then Amy finally feeling comfortable at the guest house of her boss. Rachel still can't get over her mother's passing, especially she feels that her father is not really giving the love and support she needed. Amy then went to see Rachel and asked for new towels as she wants to freshen up. While having conversation, somehow Rachel feels the tension and is attracted to Amy as well while seeing her taking a bath. That night, Rachel invited Amy to have a few drinks and they both started to really feel comfortable with each other. Then Rachel's father called asking how is everything and then he wants to talk with Amy. Rachel was kind of surprised when her father gave permission for Amy to use his other car while staying at their guest house. Without any knowledge, Rachel's father didn't have any business trip. He was actually with another woman. Rachel accidentally spilled the wine all over Amy, and so she lets her use one of her shirt. And again, can be seen they're both attracted to each other. Then Jason called, Rachel's ex-boyfriend who sounded so rude and was looking for his phone. Then Amy shared her views about relationships and that she still haven't really felt nor experienced falling in love since she is as well afraid of getting hurt. Have I ever been in love? You know, I'm not sure if I know what that means. I don't understand. The next day, Rachel invited Amy to roam around the city as she wants Amy to be familiar with the place before she starts working for her father. And so this was the start of their closeness. They now began to share intimate experiences and somehow was able to get to know each other more. Then Amy confessed that she finds Rachel cute. Then Rachel gave a compliment that she loves how Amy smiles. My confession, yes, is that I'm a little weirded out that I think you're kind of cute. I like your smile. Thanks. As they arrive home, that's when they both feel attention and they can no longer control what they feel for each other. And so they made love that night. The next morning, as Rachel prepared breakfast, Amy said she will be in trouble since she will be working for Rachel's father. And now she just make out with his daughter. Rachel again talks about her mom and how she missed her. She then showed to Amy the paintings of her mother. They had again another intimate moment the night when suddenly Jason came and was angry and asked Rachel for his phone. Amy told him to leave and Rachel proudly told Jason that Amy is her girlfriend. 
As Rachel wanted Amy to see how she wanted to start her music career, they went to a club where an artist that Rachel admires was performing. The night as well, they both got a tattoo as a symbol for their relationship. The next day, they didn't have any idea that Rachel's father will be coming home. He was happy to prepare breakfast and went directly to their guest house. He was so surprised. He saw his daughter sleeping with Amy naked. This was the moment when Rachel knew the truth. Amy is actually her father's mistress, and that is why he allowed her to stay at their guest house while he was away. Rachel's father was so upset. Despite of Amy explaining to Rachel, she ended their relationship. After quite some time, Rachel now performs at a club and starts her music career. As she went out, she sees Amy, who is still so in love with her, and so Rachel wants to give her another chance. And then they rekindle their love and share the kiss. Want more queer content? Then please subscribe and hit the notification bell.